Hi, everybody, and welcome to week two of English 125, Great Writers of English Literature. For this week, we're going to be focusing on three poems by Romantic poets. There's a poem by Keats uh, called Ode on a Grecian Urn. There's a poem by Shelley called Ozymandias. And there is a poem by Coleridge called This Lime Tree Bower My Prison. But all three poems really have the same basic idea, which is that even when we are separated by time and space, even when people died a long time ago or people are far away, that we can somehow have a connection to them through stories or objects or art that somehow stands the passage of time. So the lesson this week focuses on Coleridge's poem, This Lime Tree Bower My Prison, and there is a podcast with a long explanation and reading of the poem. Um, but the main idea is that the, the poet talks about his friends going on a long hike without him and how the things they see while they're on the hike are things that he can imagine in his mind. And because he can imagine the things that they're seeing or because they might possibly be thinking of the same thing at the same time, they're somehow together even though they're apart. Um, the, the poem by Shelley, Ozymandias, is about a sculpture of a tyrant from long ago. The imagination of the artist who made the sculpture made it so anybody who looks at the sculpture or hears about the sculpture can get a sense of this guy's personality. And so even in the poem, which is describing what the sculpture looks like, while we're reading it as the readers, we wind up connected back to the guy who actually made the original sculpture of Ozymandias. Um, and then finally, Keats' poem, Ode on a Grecian Urn, is very famous. Keats wrote it when he was very young, but he was already dying of a fatal illness. And he is thinking about his own death and what his humanity means. And he's looking at this urn, this, this vase from Greece from thousands of years ago. And as he looks at the picture on the, on the urn, he's thinking to himself or he's telling us as, as the, the listeners, the readers of his poem, that he can look at the figures that are decorating the urn and he can see the guy who's playing the flute on the urn is somehow still alive because the the poet who's looking at the picture of the guy on the urn can see that there was a guy one time who was playing a flute and so he can kind of imagine the music that this other person played so long ago and when we read the poem we can not only imagine that guy who lived thousands of years ago playing his flute, but we can also imagine Keats who wrote the poem and we have, even though the urn is in, not in front of us anymore, even though the guy whose picture is on the urn is not with us anymore, even though Keats is not with us anymore, because the poem is with us, we are somehow still with the poet, with the person who's playing the flute, with the sculptor who made the urn. Uh, and in the end, we're also all kind of with one another, even though we have to be apart. And that's sort of the big idea of this week's class.